love you, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Shoes on time. What is up, everyone? My name's Evan, and today we're talking about siblings and sports, specifically backyard sports. You see, recently some geniuses have found all of the players' hidden attribute ratings in the game code of backyard baseball 1997, 2001, and 2003. I'm assuming these guys have massive Ricky Johnsons because they unlock secrets to the backyard sports franchise that are shocking. For instance, the hidden stats show that Ahmed Khan is actually a better hitter than the GOAT himself, Pablo Sanchez. But this video isn't about GOATs. If it were, we would be discussing Maria Luna wearing pink. What this video is about is siblings, statistics, and synergy. We will be looking at each set of siblings in the Backyard Sports franchise and using the statistics to finally answer humanity's greatest question. Who is the best pair of siblings in Backyard Sports? but mostly baseball, because that's where the statistics were. Number five. Vicky Kawaguchi is a ballerina whose greatest strength is her coordination. Unfortunately, her brother Kenny K-Man Kawaguchi can't quite say the same. K-Man is a very reliable pitcher who can go deep into games or come up clutch for you in relief. That's about all he can do because it's very hard to hit without using your leg. You're as likely to get a hit with Kenny and Vicky K as you are to find the treasure digging on your first day at Camp Green Lake. We'll dig for the next 100 years and you will never find you can kiss those dreams goodbye and what's even worse in a video about sibling synergy is that they have none it doesn't matter if these two are on the same team different teams are on the blimp flying over Vinny the gooch when a home run is hit they are not getting any bonuses in 1997 the kawaguchis have 23 total stat points and this number increases to 47 for backyard baseball 2001 and 2003 but everyone's stats increase in this time because the games used a different scale the only time either of the kawaguchi stats stats are affected by anything is in Backyard Baseball 2003. We put Kenny on the same team as Ichiro, he gets a slight boost. For third is Terrence Long, the throw by Ichiro, beautiful Peggy, got him! Fortunately for these two, Ichiro's 2003 boost on K-Men is not enough to save them from the number five spot on our list. It's not enough to save Kenny's legs either, but our legs work fine. So let's move on to the next gruesome twosome, Sally the Boss and Ronnie Spud Dog. With Ronnie on her team, Sally is one of the baddest bitches in the backyard. But when Ronnie isn't around, she's not bossy, she's not saucy, and she sure as shit ain't Randy Mossy. Is a disgusting and Ronnie turns into one of the world's biggest bitches whenever he is paired with Sally. As a solo player, Ronnie Dobbs pays attention. He has stamina. He's intelligent. It's like he took an entire prescription of Adderall and that goes right out the gate when he's paired up with that bitch Sally. He goes from a G as in Giga Chad to a G as in Gretchen Hasselhoff. Now to be fair, Ronnie does have an absolute cannon for an arm. He's a great pitcher. But how are you going to have 25 points less in the speed category than a duo with an average of one leg? Now, I did find a recent clip of Big Ron. Let's check that out real quick. It's nice to see Ronnie's no longer a little bitch. And that's more than we can say about the first half of the number three pair of siblings, Amir Khan. Him and his brother Ahmed are the typical big bro, little bro combo. And we know Ahmed can absolutely rake, but what's Amir's story? Amir wants to be like his brother bad. But the thing is, Amir is a baller in his own right. Despite his rinky dink golf club girth of a bat, he has a phenomenal contact swing. And unlike the ax man, Amir can put cracks in bats, man. Are you picking up what I'm I'm throwing down. I said, unlike his big bro, Ak, Amir knows how to sling the rock. He's one of the best pitchers in the game. Considering this duo's greatest strength is hitting and their dad, Genghis, they make for a pretty powerful pair. But the cons fall short of the top two spots because they don't make each other better when on the same team. Paired together, Ahmed does nothing. His cool ass pretends like his little bro isn't even there. And Amir? More like amir -er because when paired with the axe man, his stats shift to match that of his brothers. He gets better at hitting Hitting, worse at pitching, but his overall only goes up by one. That's unlike this next pair of siblings, the Weber twins. As basic as they are, as much as they talk about tennis, as much as I can't tell which one's Ashley and which one's Sydney. Did you ask my sister? These two are the gold standard when it comes to backyard baseball sibling synergy. Technically, they're the silver standard, but their hair's gold and their dad must have a lot of gold to afford that country club membership. Now, these two, they go from 42 stat points total up to 60 
52 when playing together. The hidden stats show Ashley and Sydney each gaining 40 in coordination, 30 in intelligence, 20 in arm strength, plus 10 in speed. And with such unprecedented chemistry, I thought when starting out on this video that the Webbers would for sure be number one. But then I learned about the strongest force in the universe, the supersonic competitive hatred of the Del Vecchio siblings. Speaking of Sonic, these two were voiced by the same voice actor. Doesn't really have to do with the video. I just wanted to throw it in because I thought it was fun. All I knew about these two going into the video was that Tony had that Riz and Angela could pit. I'd always just assume they were mid-tier and you could say they are when not going against each other. But when squaring off head to head, these two get put into a league of their own. Well, what else would you expect from the best? This man Tony goes up from 23 to 35 visible stat points when playing against that girl Angela. What does Angela do? Angela's player card stats rocket up to 36 total, including 10 out of 10 in batting and pitching. Speaking of pitching, I did find something interesting when looking at Angela's hidden stats. She's actually a better pitcher in terms of the total sum of pitching stat points when Tony is not involved. The main drop off is on her slow ball. It goes from 100 out of 100 down to 66. My theory is she's so mad going against Tony, she forgets how to properly slow it down. But Sugar Pop doesn't forget much because her total pitching stats only go down by four. What's much more defining is the plus 60 in strength, the plus 50 in coordination, plus 40 hitting, plus 30 intelligence. And while I'm not sure how much an intelligence stat affects gameplay in an early 2000s point and click baseball simulator, I believe our victory was due to my pregame computer simulation. I am sure of this. When they draft Tony, you better draft Angela. This is a universal truth based on statistics, as you can see by these fancy animated graphs that I should have just shown at the start of the video. From 1997 to 2001, the cons get better, the Dobbs get better, the Kawaguchis get worse, but the top two spots remain the same. And the Del Vecchios against each other are simply unmatched, even by Ashley and Sydney playing together. This lands the Del Vecchios at our number one spot. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. Thanks for watching, and by the way, your shoe's untied.